Beautiful Scorpios, welcome to First Star Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the collective. This is a general reading, so my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it does not apply, let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be a story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign, so check your moon, rising, Mercury. Check your Venus. Check your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Uh, this is also a timeless reading, so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, that was exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Welcome to anyone that may be new. My name is Q. As I said, I too am a Scorpio. I'm an empath. I'm also intuitive and clairaudient, so I incorporate music into my readings, and they tend to blend very beautifully with the messages in the tarot cards. Right now, we have DITC. That's an uh, acronym for Digging in the Crates. And the name of the song is called Stand Strong. So I feel like a lot of you Scorpios, um, I'm hearing the word perseverance. I'm hearing the word resilience. I'm hearing the song, the word strength. Um, I feel like you all have stood strong uh, in the face of your adversis, ad, adversaries, the divine is saying, and in the face of adversity. So it's like you have been very... Um, persistent in achieving your goal, you know, and I'm, I'm seeing like, uh, um, it's almost like a steamroller, you know, rolling, you know, kind of like, um, knocking down whatever is in front of its path in front of its way. Uh, so it's like you stood strong against a lot of adversity. Uh, so this reading is going to, um, look in to see, you know, what's kind of lurking in the background. Um, I used to call this series the they pray and pray on your downfall. Um, so we're going to, we're going to take a little look to see what kind of energies is looming and lurking and creeping and stalking and, you know, snooping behind the scenes um to uh you know kind of cause confusion or to take you off your path or anything that could be potentially um a threat to your peace you know to your happiness or attempting to be a threat let's let's not get it twisted scorpios uh you know you don't shy from you know challenge you know so let's go ahead call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, animal totems, earth, mother guy, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Let's get a beautiful read for our beloved Scorpios. I'm going to start off with the numerology deck. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have domestic harmony. And this is the number 46. So that is a 10. So I do feel like um, you stood strong, you know, uh, in the demise of a relationship, in the demise of a connection that kind of went sour. I feel like it went from... Um, you know, a very harmonious connection to one where there was a lot of um, conflict, debates. Um, we have Cassie playing me and you. Uh, so I do feel like somebody could be reflecting during this rec rec uh, Mercury retrograde on you and them or you and their relationship. Or this could just be you in a very nostalgic place thinking of all the, um, thinking of all the things you've overcome, all the you know, toxicity, all the drama, all the hurt, the pain. And it's like you still stood strong, just like the DIT song. So somebody could be in a very nostalgic place because, as I said, digging in the crate, um, it's like somebody could be, you know, like playing songs from, you know, back when you were in this relationship or just thinking of um, times when there was more harmony. So let's see what we have on the split. So we have financial discipline and then we have um, domestic harmony. And these cards are literally the same cards. Oh, uh, I think this one is like purple and yellow. I can't really tell because I have like this, you know, these lights. Okay, so this looks like it's pink. When I put it down here, you can see like it's pink. But when you put it up here, see how it looks purple? But then when you put it down here, you can see that it's a pink card. So this is pink. Okay, so maybe somebody... Um, that you was dealing with really impacted your finances in a negative way. Um, 
I feel like there definitely was some sort of lack, you know, maybe somebody was just like taking constantly and never like um, depositing anything. So it was like they was making withdrawals, but not enough deposits. And it kind of left you feeling depleted, you know, and imbalanced, you know, it impacted your finances. Um, maybe some of you all were struggling within a partnership. Um, I feel like the divine is telling you there's a new connection. There's an opportunity for a new relationship that's going to be more harmonious. There's going to be more in equilibrium, more balance for you. And the divine is going to t is telling you to surrender. I feel like intuitively you'll know um, because both of these reduce to 10. So you have 91 and 46. So it's almost as if the divine is saying after um, an ending, there's a brand new beginning. There's a potential for a new start. There's a potential for... Um, you know, building something and it was just five, five, five on the clock. So five, 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 that's 15, that's six. So that does speak to harmony, you know, and I feel like they're telling you to use discernment because the six is your uh, first eye chakra. So use discernment. You know, many of you definitely had to take a time out of Wusa. You know, you had to take that moment to exhale because there was a lot of, um, I feel, conflict in a relationship. I feel like you felt like you were just constantly going and going and going. You was putting in everything you had, blood, sweat, tears. You were carrying a lot of the burdens, a lot of the responsibilities all on your own. And I feel like you finally had some sort of epiphany that you deserved more, you know, that you, that you deserve to have a partnership or a relationship that was going to give to you equally it wasn't supposed to be just one-sided um this physical activity many of you may need to go out and be more physical you know maybe you need to exercise more get outside in nature walk run jog ride a bike uh, maybe you need to go join a gym you know even if you don't want to go to join a gym um, because that's such an enclosed space, especially during these times. Uh, so maybe just go take a nice nature walk. Maybe go take a hike. Um, maybe go walk on that trail that you've been saying you were going to walk on. I feel like you need a time out to connect with your higher selves uh, because this is an all purple card. Um, so, you know, the purple deals with the crown chakra. So I do feel like, you know, there is um, some really spiritual downloads, divine interventions uh, that you all can obtain uh, while, you know, Know, in that mode of being physical, physical activity could even be, you know, um, doing yoga, um, you know, like I said, um, just, you know, joining African dance, um, you know, doing Zumba or, you know, whatever it is just to get the body movement, you know, moving. So this is really about, you know, self-care. Um, 67 reduces to 13. So this is speaking about the death, you know, so maybe you were very proactive, um, you know, in ending a cycle, ending some sort of karmic cycle. Maybe you received some sort of download or maybe you just trusted your intuition or maybe you had some sort of psychic, um, you know, download um, instructing you to be proactive in a circumstance. Right now we have... Um, De La Soul, and this is called the magic number. Uh, so maybe you all are seeing synchronicities. Maybe you're seeing number 13 a lot. Maybe you're seeing the number four because that 13 reduces to four. Uh, and that four to me is a play on the 1111. So maybe there is, you know, like divine downloads that your twin flame soulmate, a uh, divine counterpart, a uh, yang to your yin, yin to your yang is coming in. Um, this could be someone you've been manifesting. Um, I do see that there's a sense you and your person are mirroring in terms of healing thyself and you're learning to love that self. You're learning that self-love makes you more attractive. So you could be seeing that, you know, seeing things opening up to you, seeing, you know, the things you were praying for a year ago or two months ago are starting to manifest itself because you are tapped into your divine power, uh, to your goddess energy, your God energy, that empress, empress, uh, empress, empress her energy. The 66 reduces to 12, 12 is three. So maybe there's, you know, some healing after heartbreak. I'm thinking of the three of swords, but there's also a potential for someone that wants to come in to reconcile because I'm thinking of the three of cups. So somebody could be coming back, uh, wanting to heal, wanting to um, restore this connection. So let's tap and tune in. So we have nature. So what did I say about y'all needing to take a nice little nature walk? You know, be more physically active. Go outside, take a walk, get out of the house. Um, your home can become like a prison, you know, literally, if you don't go out. And what did I say? You know, there's some sort of wish fulfillment, abundance. There's some sort of like um, answered prayer. 
or some sort of miracle that's going to be granted to you all. I feel many of you have manifested this because you've learned to, you know, heal that self and healing that self. You learn to love that self and loving that self. You know your worth, you know your value, and you know thyself. You know who you are. So you know that you have every ability to, um, you know, and that was a confirmation. Um, you know, that, that message coming in. So this is confirmation that you all have tapped into your uh, magi nation. You're a magi nation, that magi. Remember, we had one is the magic number. So I feel like you realize that, you know, you are that conduit of change, that you are the person that can, you know, transmute negativity. You are the one that could heal that self in order to, you know, become the alchemist. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely feel confirmation again, that you're manifesting something really beautiful. Um, you're manifesting something um, which is going to, uh, you know, be very abundant. You know, it's going to be, it's, it's like financial blessings, uh, financial opportunities, um, you know, even emotional fulfillment, contentment. Um, this is just like everything that you've been praying for and asking for is manifesting. Um, so we have brand Nubians um, slow down. Um, so many of you may need to take that Wusa, as I said um, in the beginning, you know, slow it down, select a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, take a little break because you've been kind of like running and running and going and going. And, you know, especially when, you know, you're faced with adversities and you have adversaries, people who gunning for you, people who plotting on you, people who you had to learn um, the hard way that were not really rocking with you. And these were people that were in your inner circle. So they were like, you know, they were right next to you scheming and scamming and plotting and planning. And so that in and of itself is is um, not only a painful revelation, um, but it's dangerous. It's, it's really dangerous to realize like you have people so close to you. Um, um, that were not, um, you know, on your side, that were not really, you know, your friends, not really your family. Um, so I do feel like with this 55 adventure, um, you're coming out of that, that mode of, you know, just doing, you know, that old same routine. It's like now you're going to be more daring. You're going to take more risks. You're going to be, you know, more of that go-getter. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be more assertive in going after what you want. And it's also because, you know, you're seeking adventure. You know, you've been kind of having like this blah existence and, um, you know, things felt like, you know, very stagnant, you know, and, and just, you know, very um, routine. And I feel like you're looking for excitement. You're looking for some some happiness and joy and I feel like you're going to start moving around um when you go out in nature I feel like you're going to get a lot of downloads you know what I'm saying and I feel the divine is telling you to take a moment to wusa and do so out in nature because we have brand Nubians uh this is called um slow down and so when you go out in nature that does allow for you to kind of like quiet the mind center yourself um and just be in the moment. So you may need to go outside to ground yourself, to get back into alignment. Um, you know, sit under a tree, sit by a body of water. Um, if it's warm enough, you could plant your feet in earth, uh, take your shoes off and just, you know, ground yourself literally. Um, because this 47 reduces to 11. And so I do feel like that allows for very divine download, uh, very divine interventions, downloads, transmissions to come through. And you'll be tapped into, you know, your your um Christ consciousness tapped into you know that higher self because that's the crown chakra um so yeah you've learned self-love and in self-love you've learned to take more time out for yourself to prioritize your needs to put you in yourself first to take your power back to practice healthy self-care to be better you know to be um kinder you know to yourself more patient with yourself more um you're more, yeah, more patient with yourself because you've grown from something, you know, and with this, these are both sevens, you know, so this is about you um, also growing psychically, also trusting your intuition, also trusting what you're picking up intuitively, being more sensitive to energy and just trusting what you're feeling, that inner gumption, um, you know, your sixth sense is heightened also because I feel like you took the time out to slow down. You took the time out to feel the energy, to feel out the situations and circumstances. You're not just trusting 
anymore. You're not just going along to get along or self-sabotaging or self-sacrificing or overcompensating. It's like you're, you're, you're trusting what you're feeling energetically with people. And like I said, synchronicities. So there's a lot of downloads. There's a lot of divine interventions. Um, there's a lot of messages that you may uh, be receiving at this time. Um, so trust what you're feeling. And if you're not sure of the meanings of things, research, 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 go to your local library, get a book and, and just, you know, just delve in, become very studious. This is a time, you know, winter time is a time um, that you go into hibernation mode. It's also a time where you could go into that hermit mode, take that time out. And this is about building your self-knowledge, building your wealth of knowledge. Like this is about um, seeking wise counsel or also just elevating yourself. Um, we got break for love playing by rays. So I do feel like, you know, break for love, break for the love of that self. Take a break from love also. Um, take a break from focusing on love because the more you focus or obsess over it, the more you chase it away. So it's like you almost have to attract it by just, you know, um, you know, embodying love, radiating love. That's how you attract what you desire. You can't worry yourself over something or stress over something in order to bring it to you. You have to do the opposite, you know. So the bottom of the deck, we have surrender. So the divine is telling you to surrender. And we got break for love playing. So surrender to the divine. Surrender to what, you know, you know you need to do. Some of you all need to take a break from love. Some of you need to take a break from some of those loveless connections, some of those fake dynamics, some of those frenemies that you feel deep down doesn't really rock with you, but you keep them around for comfort or you keep them around because there's a sense of this familiarity. Oh, I knew them for, you know, since high school. And it's like, you know, everybody is not meant to go with you on your journey. So the divine is telling you, take a break from those connections, you know, and surrender to the divine, surrender to what you're picking up psychically, because this is purple and this is all orange and orange is about moving to the beat of your drum. Orange is also about creativity. It's about self-care. So you need to take a break from those connections to focus on thyself. This 91 reduces to 10. 10 is the ending. So it's about ending, releasing what no longer serves you, releasing the people, places, and things, and then having a new beginning, a new start. So this is your end, end, um, your card here. So break for love. So some of you all have had um, you know, some breaks from love. Some of you all have not been in connections, you know, so you've taken breaks from love. And I feel like those endings, um, you're now entering into a new chapter, entering into a new cycle. Um, so we have effort here. So yeah, you're, you're going to be um, really attracting uh, people who are going to put in the effort. Because remember, I referenced, you know, some of the connections were people who were just taking withdrawals, people who were just constantly take, 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 but not reciprocating, not giving, not making deposits. And so I feel like you're now going to start attracting people who are going to invest. That's going to be, um, you know, reciprocating those gestures. Um and just being more attentive, uh, more affectionate, you know. So let's see what we got. So divine spirit, um, what energy is Scorpio attracting? So we got completion. So you've completed some sort of karmic cycle. And that's very beautiful because, like I said, that's 10, and, you know, with the surrendering to the divine. So this is all nine. So I feel like you definitely receive some sort of divine download that it's time to complete something. Nine is the highest number of change. So I do feel like before you decided to complete a cycle, there was a lot of reflection. There was a lot of internal work. There was a lot of, you know, almost like that, that, um, it's the energy of like the uh, hermit. You know, the hermit is the number nine, if I'm not mistaken, in traditional Tarot. So the hermit is a wizard. You know, a lot of people don't, you know, pick up on the fact that the hermit is a wizard. He goes into his cave to do that soul searching, to do that self-reflection, introspective work, to take those internal self audits. And he gains epiphanies. He gets some sort of illumination and clarity. Um, but what he never does is, is, is give up or relinquish the hope, the optimism of the future. He knows that there's better days ahead. Um, and, you know, it's just a matter of making peace with what was, what once was, you know, gaining a deeper, more profound understanding of why um, whatever it is they've experienced, whatever adversities, as I said, they've experienced or whatever, um, you know, 
difficulties that they've had to overcome, they understand, they gain the, re, the, the understanding of why. So it's almost like looking back in awareness so as not to repeat those cycles, so as not to um, do the same things moving forward. So we have domestic harmony. So now someone has learned how to, uh, you know, be balanced, to be well balanced, because maybe, as I said, they weren't delegating enough, or maybe they simply just didn't have the assistance or the help that they needed in those partnerships, those connections, those relationships, because they was dealing with people who were leeches, energy vampires, people who were opportunists, you know, and so now, you know, with that break from love, because we have break for love, so I feel like somebody took a break from love to go within, to soul search, to, you know, to have like that, 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 um, it's almost like self-discovery, discovering what they need. And so now they know how to approach a new connection um, to have that harmony, to have, you know, that equal give and take within a partnership. So that 10 begins, you know, that's like the every ending denotes a new beginning. So let's see what else we got. Wow, that's powerful. So we have spiritual career. So we this is a, a, a message that keeps coming out for Scorpios. A lot of you all are spiritual um, teachers, healers, shamans, light workers. Uh, we have uh, shine, uh, and this is called bad boys. So I do feel like a lot of you are shining lights on people's behaviors, people who have bad tendencies, people who are negative, people who are opportunists, as I said, people who do not give, but just look to take, people who are energy vampires, incubus, succubus energy, people who may have addictions, afflictions, people who are just toxic. And I feel like you are, you know, here to be bring harmony and balance. The 78 reduces, you know, to um, 15, 15 to six. So the six is the first die. So a lot of you could be channelers, psychics, clairvoyants, a lot of you are definitely um, highly intuitive, highly sensitive to energy. And I feel like this is a career that you all have, um, you know, you didn't pick it. I feel like it chose you. I feel like the divine has brought you into uh, some sort of alignment where you're discovering that you have these gifts. You're starting to pick up on the fact that you have this heightened psychic ability. Maybe you're starting to realize that you're scryers. You may see imagery in the shadows. You may be able to um, read candle wax, read coffee um you know the um dry coffee you may be able to read water you may be able to just scry in you know even the flames and the clouds you could you're just a scryer so you're you're picking up on you know the sensitivity that you have in some area and you know this is a spiritual gift that you have and i feel like you're going to embark on this this path and it's going to bring a lot of abundance a lot of um prosperity i feel like you know you're trusting your intuition but i also feel this emotional fulfillment when you do this like you know you just you could get lost in this even some of you who are tarot card readers you know maybe you're practicing right now you feel drawn to it you feel called to do it because you see that there's just so many people out there doing it and you see that they're doing it for the likes you know and it's just like they're not doing it because they want it they're doing it because they are just trying to be popular they're just trying to be seen um a lot of people i've noticed are like buying subscribers um you know i've seen people who one week they'll have um like 500 views and then the next week they got like you know 20,000 views and you know it's very obvious that they're there in you know on this platform for the wrong reasons and those are the type of people you want to see them fade to black really really quickly because they haven't developed uh, an actual you know um skill set or talent they're just going along to get along so they're trying to just do what they see everyone else do uh for popularity but i feel like many of you are you're chosen it's like you're called to do this so it's like you're going to stand out from the rest so don't focus on how many subs you have or the monetization of your channel just do it because you love it and you'll see things happen naturally and organically the divine is using you as a vessel as a beacon of light to help others and that's what you're supposed supposed to focus on so when you focus on the right things um, and you do things with with good intention then you'll see the return you'll see that return you don't have to go as far as buying subscribers and trying to appear like you got this huge platform and you really don't so just be mindful to do things with good intention because I feel like other people will naturally be able to, you know, pick up on the fact whether you're doing this for the right reasons or not. Anyway, if you're a real person, real recognize real. Real eyes will rec will realize the real lies. How does that saying go? Real eyes 
recognize real lies. So, you know, and real recognizes real. So we have um, Missy Elliott, and this is called She's a Bitch. So we got patience, patience. So definitely be patient with yourselves. Be patient with the process. Some of you all are becoming um, impatient because you're looking for something to come in. Um, don't be a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because the name of this album is called The Real World. So you're dealing with real life situations. And in those circumstances, you're going to just have to be patient. The divine expects you to be proactive. Remember, patience uh, is a form of action. And remember, you have physical activity. So the divine expects you to match the vibration of that of which you wish to um, manifest or to call in or draw in. So it's like they want to see that you're working towards whatever it is that you desire opposed to just sitting around waiting for it to plop in your lap so be patient because everything happens in divine timing they want you to master your crafts your skills your talents hone them you know um sharpen them B build your wealth of knowledge as well because two this is the sacral chakra so this is about you know self-care this is about also like um your creativity, uh, building your creativity, like strengthening your wealth of knowledge um, in an area. This is about like seeking wise counsel, um, you know, just kind of like um, heightening your your um, level of understanding in a particular area. And next we have physical activity. See that? I wasn't, I didn't even know that was there. See that? So be, be proactive is what I'm getting from this physical activity. This is also about movement. You know what I'm saying? When you move, you connect more with your body. Your body is, you know, um, it's, it's, it's also, uh, connected, you know, to this, you know, to, uh, when you move more, I feel like movement is, it allows for you to be more connected is what I'm trying to say. So be spit, like be active. You know, that's why I was picking up. Y'all need to go outside, take nature walks, uh, because I do feel like you'll receive more messages, more downloads, more guidance when you are out in, um, in an atmosphere where you can, uh, pick up on that information. You know what I'm saying? And so we have, she's a bitch. So there's somebody around you that's a bitch. And I feel like they seek in vengeance. They seek in some sort of um, revenge or somebody feels, you know, be mindful of a bitch. Cause I don't know who this says she's a bitch. So this is Missy Elliott, you know, but like I said, the real world. So many of you could have completed a cycle as we see here, every ending denotes a new beginning, but I feel like that cycle has definitely brought you to some sort of spiritual awakening. You know, you've ascended, you've grown, you've changed your perspective. You see things differently. So let's get some messages from the, um, goddess guidance. So we have fertility. So there could be somebody like just hating because you've ascended or hated because you've grown. This fertility card is the divine feminine energy. Uh, this is the empress. Even if you're masculine, you could be just like balanced. You've you've um, mastered the ability to balance your feminine and masculine energy. So this is star card. I feel like somebody is definitely, there's a bitch that's hating on you, Scorpios, because you are radiating love and light. You are a master manifester. You're also very attractive. People love you. People are drawn to you. Uh, you have this magnetism, this mystique, this mysteriousness that just draws the interest of people. You also are very unique in the way that you do things. You're highly sensitive to, to um, energy. So people feel like you can see through their bullshit. That could be another reason why people are hating, you know, hating on the fact that you are this beautiful, divine, feminine energy. See this passion? There's definitely people who have a lot of passion, a lot of fire, desire. Some of these people are like, you know, um, definitely self-pleasing. You know what I'm saying? They're like, you know, feeling the sexual attraction towards you as well. Somebody is feeling drawn to come to you. And that could be why, you know, this bitch is hating because maybe this is, you know, a karmic. And I feel like something is developing, you know, and that's why patience was required. Patience is necessary because something is blossoming. You know, you, you could feel it because I feel like you're highly sensitive. And I also feel you're manifesting this, you know, as this spiritual career, you know how to manifest what you want. You know how to set the intention to attract what you want. And so we have Foxy Brown and this is called Gotta Get You Home Tonight. So somebody definitely feels some of you all are like sexual chocolate. I'm hearing sexual chocolate, sexual chocolate, you know, remember from um, um, coming to America, you know what I'm saying? So maybe, you know, you know, even if you ain't chocolate, you know, cause Foxy Brown, they just feel you Foxy. They feel you sexy, you know, they feel you're attractive, you know, you're alluring. You know what I'm saying? They're bitten by the smitten bug. Somebody has got it bad. You know what I'm saying? 
and I'm hearing that Usher song. You got it, you got it bad. When you're on the phone, hang up and you call right back. So it's like some something's blossoming here, something that you feel like you've been waiting for, but you know it's coming intuitively. This is a purple card. So it's like, you are you know, I'm getting like that high priestess energy and it has something to do with passion. Somebody's following their passions, following their desire, following what they feel drawn to, called to. There's like a chemistry. There's also like this spiritual cord. Like you have a spiritual tie to someone. Someone feels the spiritual tie. See that inner God? is I can't make this shit up. Somebody is very, very attracted to you. And you see this bird is like, she's looking back, reaching back. So somebody may call you during this Mercury retrograde. This is someone that you have not communicated with. I feel like you focused a lot of time um, by walking away from someone that was not giving in equally. And you just rebuilt your self-worth, self-value. You started to realize that you are beautiful you know what I'm saying? That you started to practice healthy self-care. You knew your worth and value. You set higher standards. You know what I'm saying? And we have got to get you home with me tonight. So somebody's definitely wanting to, you know, um, sex you up is what I'm hearing. Somebody's wanting to be intimate, wanting to make love even. See this? You ended a cycle. This is like the world card. So we have Kali endings and beginnings so you've definitely completed cycles remember we had that song um she's a bitch and it said the real world so i was picking up on the world card and so here is the world card in the goddess goddess deck so you have completed a cycle you've completed a cycle and that's why you are now about to receive a lot of the uh, blessings a lot of the wish fulfillments that you have called in and i feel like you also have to you know to have to release the past you know, and you release the past by forgiving the past. You know what I'm saying? See how the bodies of water, didn't I say some of y'all could be spending, you know, you need to go spend some time by a body of water. You need to go outside, take that nature walk because it will bring you into alignment. It will make you more, more um, in tune. It'll also bring you, um, you know, bring you back to a sense of like revitalization. You'll be, you'll feel recharged. You'll feel more connected. You know what I'm saying? And your first eye is wide open. So it's like, as I said, your psychic abilities, your intuitive abilities have been amplified after the completion of the cycle. It's like you've leveled up, you've ascended, you've spiritually in alignment right now. And this is what's drawing someone very attracted to you. And this is why you had a bitch hating on a sideline. Somebody wants to get you home tonight, you know? And so we have inner wisdom. I can't make this up. Trust your inner gumption. You know, you've grown very wise. You are very aware. And I feel like that in and of itself, not only just your physical beauty, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like somebody is like, they love the way you think. They love the way you speak. They love the way you are. They see how you've transformed. You're very wise. You know, this owl denotes wisdom. So it's like you have like literally ascended. You know what I'm saying? You are a seer. You can see through bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Others feel also like seen by you. So this could be very intimidated when somebody feels like you can see right through their bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And this is like, you know, look at this, the first eye. And then you have this owl watching. So it's like your first eye is wide open. And so we have Ray J and this is called Melody. So, yeah, some of you all could sing, you know, some of you all are very um, you have very beautiful voices, angelic voices. You know what I'm saying? And this person may feel like, you know, you speak their love language. You know what I'm saying? You speak their love language or they may feel like, um, you know, they, they're attracted to your strength. This is powerful. You're very sensitive. You you have learned to um, to own your power. You know, you've learned that, you know, your your independence is a foundation for your strength, for your stability, for your security, for your overall happiness. And you're now owning it. It's like you are fearless right now, you know, and you also are, you know, demanding your respect now. And you could see on her crown, she has this headdress. So I do feel like you are very psychic. She's wearing like purple clothing. So you're, you're seen as royalty. You're seen as very regal very powerful, very spiritual. You could be a healer, some sort of practitioner, because we see here with this um, spiritual career, you know, you're going to have people coming to you for guidance, seeking guidance, you know, or just even seeking healing, you know, seeking some healing words, you know, maybe in your presence, they feel, um, they feel lighter, you know, 
And with this, these two lions here, I definitely feel like you're you're seen as a leader, or you're being um, you're being sought after for some sort of guidance. And I feel like you know you have ascended to this role because you've had to heal yourselves. In healing yourselves, you've discovered that you are um, you know you are healers. And if you look, she has the uh, the eye of Heru here around her throat chakra. So it's like a lot of you, as I said, can be intuitive psychics, clairvoyance channelers. You could use um, cartomancy, scrying um, as your, you know, um, you know, particular skill set. Maybe some of you handcraft candles, intentional candles, uh, you know, anointing oils, uh, spiritual, like whatever you do, it's in, you know, the spiritual arena, you know. You know, some of you all could be singers, as I said, and you make very, um, you know, you make um, conscious music, as I call it. You know what I'm saying? You make like, um, it's like you, you, you are utilizing your throat chakra in a way to awaken the masses, to, to trigger an awakening, to trigger some sort of healing, you know, and the name of this album is called Radiation. So you're radiating, you know, some sort of love and light. You're healing the masses. That's beautiful. So your strength is very, very attractive. It's very beautiful. It's very alluring. You know, you're seen as a beacon of light, as I said. Like, you know, others seek, you know, perhaps your guidance or seek, you know, your... Um, your advice, perhaps, so of our spirit of love and light, and I see true love. So you're attracting true love, you know, and it's because you've learned, you know, what works for you apart from what doesn't in a relationship. And you've also learned how to ask for what you need, how to delegate and not just sit around feeling like you got to do everything. So surrender is here. Look at that. Divine wants you to surrender because you have a miracle coming. So what did I say? You're manifesting um, a lot to you. And I also feel like you your prayers are being answered. This is Mother Mary. The first message out the deck is expect a miracle. And it's because you've been radiating love and light. And, you know, the divine wants you to surrender regardless of how things may seem. You have beautiful um, blessings coming in. Your prayers are going to be answered because the divine has acknowledged all that you've done. Somebody that wants to rock with you. We got Alicia Keys playing now. Rock with you. So somebody that really wants to rock with you is coming in. Um, and I also feel like, look at this. You got infinite supply, Sedna. My, my camera is like shaking. I apologize. It's probably been doing that forever. But Sedna is here. Infinite supply. You're at that tail end of completing a cycle for most of you all. You're very at the very tail end. And this whale definitely, um, you know, that that is um, an energy of like you being tapped in psychically. Both of these cards are um, purple. So this is your crown chakra being very sensitive. That's why the divine was like, trust your intuition. Remember inner wisdom. And whenever I see that card, I just think of, you know, you being the keeper of ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge. And you also can, you know, feel sense. You know, you have that sixth sense so you could sense when something is coming. And it's like, you know, not to worry. Worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. So you're just trusting the process. And not only is the divine bringing you infinite supply in terms of material or financial gain, but I also feel like an infinite supply in just love. This big full moon tells me that you are tapped in intuitively. You're sensitive to the energy that you're picking up. You also are very um, sensitive to the feelings you know, that you are picking up from someone else, someone that wants to rock with you, somebody that's coming in for the right reasons, somebody who's also psychic, someone who's also intuitive, that could also be in the practice, very exoteric. This is someone who could also be very, um, you know, communicative with you via your dreams. So they could be sending messages intuitively or telepathically. And you're picking up on it because, as I said, you're sensitive. So there's an ending, I feel, of you being in separation. You know, because somebody's coming in that's going to be your rock. Remember, we have Alicia Keys, um, and this is called Rock With You. So somebody's coming in that's going to rock with you. They ain't coming in to play games. They're coming in, and they want that, you know, happily ever after. They want, you know, to um, make you their, their wife, their house. You know, they want to have that happy house, happy spouse. 
I feel like both of you could be mirroring one another in terms of completing cycles. So you had to learn separate or apart from one another um, so as to come into union and have a healthy dynamic, have a healthy partnership, a healthy relationship. The divine is telling you trust what you feel intuitively because there is, um, you know, completions. So someone's having to release something. So, you know, you very well may have completed your cycle, but someone could be still wrapping up their own cycle. And I feel like through the act of forgiveness, because you've been very forgiving, because you've been very, you know, um, kind and loving, um, you know, and non-judgmental um, non and compassionate, I feel like that's why you're receiving wishes, you know, blessings, you know, that's why the divine is blessing you with infinite supply, you know, so we have fairness. What did I say? So this is your karma. This is like karma dharma. You reap what you sow. The souls, you know, the seeds you've planted, you've sowed in good faith. And so now Mama Ma'at is here to bless you with, you know, things um, working out in your favor. So this is like the scales are balancing out in your favor. Everything is being handled fairly and justly for you. So somebody's coming in that's going to rock with you. They're going to be your rock. This is going to be a solid connection. I kept hearing for the, fat, the, the, the past three readings, solid as a rock is just like screaming in my head. And so now we got rock with you. So this person is coming in and they're going to be solid with this number nine. This speaks about something being in the incubation. You know, it's like an incubation. So behind the scenes, the divine is working on this. And this is a part of your karma. This is like, you know, like when in, in, in um, ancient comedic um you know, history is like, you know, they, they weigh your heart with a feather to see if you are, if you were fair, you know, in, in life. So this is how they determine whether you go into, you know, the, into heaven or whether you go into, um, you know, into the depths of hell. So it's like your heart was light as a feather in this regard. So you're going to receive some some just news. That's why Mother Mary is saying expect a miracle. So you got karma dharma. Mama Ma Ma has everyone's address, and you know you've you've stayed true to universal law. You've stayed true to karmic law. You know, you remain just in your actions, righteous. Like I said, you didn't judge the person. You were compassionate, even if they did you wrong, even if these people did you dirty. It's like you didn't seek revenge. Even though we know Scorpios in their shadow side um, definitely know how to plot and plan some vengeful shit. But I feel like y'all didn't get distracted by that. What you did was you focused on yourselves. You focused on, you know, healing thyself, you know, on improving yourselves, on some sort of creative projects. You know what I'm saying? On finding balance, establishing balance. Because that sacral chakra is like, you know, that's where all of your reproductive organs are. So it was like, that's your creativity. And that's where, you know, self-care, that's your sensuality, your spirituality, your sexuality, all of those things, you know, that that um, make you who you are. That's what you focused on. And that's what kept you balanced. And so we have Fat Joe, Remy, Terror Squad. This is called Let Them Things Go. And so we have purification here. So you're letting all the things that do not matter, that do not honor you, you know, you're letting it go. This is purification, releasing, purging, cleansing, clearing. You know, this is about, and this is called let them things go. So you're letting all the things that do not honor your, your greatest good, that do not help you to become your greatest version of yourself, you're letting it go. And in doing so, you are now, it's like you are um, discovering your soul, your soul's purpose. You're discovering what you're, you're, you're spiritually guided to do. Some of you all may need to detox. You know, you may need to clean, clear, cleanse your space, your home. You may need to take spiritual baths and let them things go. Let the burdens go. Let the stress go. Let those hexes and curses and yokes that others have placed upon you go. You know, so the spiritual career, some of you all learned how to um, let things go. Maybe you all, like I said, maybe you handcraft certain potions, elixirs. So you you create like... Um, you know, bath potions or anointing oils to release and purge, uh, ward off negativity, evil, to remove certain blockages. But you, you've you absolutely tapped into your psychic abilities, um, to your intuitive gifts. 
and you learn how to transmute negativity, you learned how to aid others in letting things go that don't serve them, even if by using, you know, um, your ability to channel or your ability to read cards or your ability to create a potion or create some sort of elixir. Um, it's like you have learned um, some skill set through healing thyself. And now you're helping the collective learn, you know, or um, learn how to release something that don't serve them. So next we have um, true love. So this showed up during the, you know, the, the uh, pre-shuffle. And so you are absolutely uh, being told to be patient because, as I said, I feel like something is in the incubation um, process. It's like something is being prudent, especially for you. It's like the divine is is conspiring behind the scenes to bring you exactly what you want because the divine is, you know, working according to the stirrings of your heart. So you're sending up, you know, perhaps those spiritual messages, maybe when you do your love um, spells and you're calling in love, or you may be just praying and writing petitions and scribing and journaling um, in your manifestation journals. It's like whatever you are sending up, those stirrings are propelling the universe to send you a blessing, to send you um, wish fulfillment and these miracles. So it's like Mar Mother Mary is saying, you know, have faith. You know, when you have faith, you're optimistic, you're open-minded, and you're receptive. And so true love is coming in. This isn't just any type of love. This is somebody that is going to, be, like I said, um, they are going to be, um, you know, like your rock. You know, remember you had Alicia Keys, solid, um, Alicia Keys um, rock with you, and then you had Ashford and Simpson. I told you I kept hearing that song. So this person is going to be solid. This person is coming in. Like I said, they're going to speak your love language. This is the number two. So this is almost like, you know, dual energy, yin yang, twin flame, soulmate. You know what I'm saying? So this is somebody that is absolutely coming in for the right reasons. They're not coming in to waste your time. Like I said, they could also be wrapping up a cycle. This could be somebody who also has to release something, someone from the past and they have to use discernment. You know, they have to let go. So divine spirit of love and light, wise physical activity, what's coming in for our beloved Scorpio, see that? So like I said, like attract, you know, when, when you, the divine is going to match your vibration and your energy. And the 67, that's 13. So this is about the death of something, the death and the rebirth, you regenerating, you reincarnating, you transforming, you know, all of the negativity that you've experienced. And that's why you're being supplied with this infinite supply. Both of these cards showed up during the pre-shuffle, this card and the true love. This card showed up right after expect a miracle. So it's like you have wish fulfillment coming in and you're very sensitive to this. You know this because you're very psychic. Scorpio is very psychic, very intuitive. You could be seeing signs and synchronicities also, but you also have been very proactive. The divine is saying that you've been very proactive in you know calling in what you want right now we have uh tamla man and it says take me to the king so it's like you went straight to source a lot of you were praying to the divine calling on the divine sending up prayers to mother mary you know reading your bibles your basic instructions before leaving earth it's like you literally surrendered to the divine because this says take me to the king by tamla man and so your proactivity is what's bringing in some sort of infinite supply this infinite supply is is you know literally telling you there's nothing for you to worry about because everything that you've prayed for everything you've asked for is being granted it's being um sent to you see that unconditional love i can't make this up so you have someone that's going to also um, be unconditionally loving to you and towards you. They're going to be affectionate. They're going to be attentive. This is somebody that's going to speak your love language. This isn't someone coming in to waste your time or to play with your feelings and emotions. This is someone who has matured. This is someone who's also gone through uh, loss and pain. So they are sensitive um, in the same ways that you are. So they may have those same um triggers as you see this victory is on the bottom of the deck so there is a victory lying ahead victories and breakthroughs these are things that you've worked for as i said you know you've overcome you know your adversities and your adversaries so it's like all those people that were secretly plotting and planning and scheming and scamming that was trying to um you know 
trying to plan out your downfall. It's like they're going to have to sit and watch you, you know, have some sort of recognition, some sort of success. You're going to be in the spotlight. And with Take Me to the King, it's like somebody could literally be walking you down the aisle, taking you to your king, ladies. You know, if you, you know, maybe your father is going to be walking you down the aisle. If your father has transitioned, it's like your father is still with you as you walk down the aisle. But I feel like this is some sort of beautiful new beginning. This 28 reduces to 10. So it's like this is not about, you know, you coming to this place. You know, it's like you had to go through a lot. You know what I'm saying? You had to go through a lot to get here. Remember in the beginning, I said you were very persistent, very resilient. Um, I forgot what song was playing in the very beginning of the reading, but it was like, you know, you were steamrolling through some things. And I feel like it was D-I-T-C, um, stand strong. Thank you, spirit. So you stood strong and it's because of your strength is why you're now having this victory, this success. You went through a lot. The 10, this shows all of the you know, the life lessons, all of the pain, all the hurt, the betrayal, the disappointment, people you trusted, you learned that they were not your friends, your family, people that you cared for, you learned they didn't give a damn about you. You know what I'm saying? People you bent over backwards, didn't reciprocate. When you needed them, they ran, they disappeared, they ghosted you, they didn't answer that call, that text that could have like easily, you know, helped you in that instant. It was like you had to do it alone and you did it alone. And that's why there's these miracles being answered because when you needed them, they weren't there, but your angels and ancestors were. So you were spiritually protected. And I feel like this is what led to you, you know, coming into, um, you know, that epiphany of what your, your mission was, why you were here. You know, you were here for something bigger than yourself and you had to go through this. This became your testimony. You were being tested and tried and pruded. And it's like you've emerged someone very powerful, very strong. And that's why my mama Ad is here like, I got you. Everything you've asked for, everything you want is going to be granted because I'm weighing your heart against a, a feather. And your heart was lighter than the feather, which means that you were very just. You stand perpendicular in that square. And that's why blessings are coming in. Victory, success. Baba Ogun brings the victory and success. Be, be grateful. Be thankful. Attitude of gratitude. Be humble. Keep your feet planted and rooted. Stay rooted in the reason. Don't get lost in things and materials. It's like see beauty in everything, you know, because she's focusing on this one flower, yet she's around acres and acres of flowers. So why pick this, you know, this bundle of flowers when you could just sit and appreciate it all? So it's like this number 15 is about staying balanced, staying grounded, not getting sidetracked, not getting distracted. Attitude of gratitude is everything. And I feel like because someone didn't appreciate you, and you learn to appreciate yourself and your journey is why. Okay, so that wants to be showcased. We got Tiana Taylor, let's build. So like I said, somebody's coming in to build with you. Someone's coming in, you know, to, to grow with you, to plant seeds, a roots, nucleus, a family. They want long-term commitment. They're going to be invested. This is not somebody coming in to play and waste your time, ladies and gentlemen. Like, see this? Quantocopia, I can't make this ish up. And we're about to clarify Surrender. So the divine wants you to surrender because look what you have waiting for you. Surrender to the divine. That's what a lot of you did. You surrendered to the divine. You focused on, you know, healing thyself and in healing thyself. You learned to love yourselves and learn who you were. And in learning who you were, you just, you just gave in. You submitted, you know, you surrendered to it. And the divine is like, we heard every single prayer. So straight out the gate, you had Expect a miracle. Now you have carnucopia. Carnucopia is a harvest. That's also like infinite supply because you're being supplied by the divine himself, herself, itself, whatever. They are the ones showering all of these blessings to you and for you. And remember magic number. So 11 is the magic number because 11 speaks to those divine interventions. That's how you get those downloads. That's how you get those transmissions. That's how you get activated, period. And with let's build, somebody is coming in that you're going to be able to build with. Y'all are going to be a spiritual power couple. This person is also wish fulfillment. You're going to be eating off of your supply forever. So you're never going to want for anything. You're never going to need anything. You're never going to um, feel like you don't have enough. 
So it's like, it's the end of that cycle of, you know, maybe, you know, there was, like I said, that spirit of lack or scarcity mindset in a former relationship where somebody just fucked up the money, but it's the end of that cycle. Cause you completed it. It was the end of a karmic cycle. And I feel like you remain just, you remained, you know, like I said, sound, you know, righteous in your actions. You didn't seek revenge. You didn't go out to plot and plan somebody else's downfall because you was hurting. You just stay focused on healing yourselves, on improving yourself, on growing, on, you know, learning more. And that's why the divine mama Ma'a is like, okay, I got you. See that appreciation. Someone lacked appreciation. Someone mishandled you, mis, you know, used you, mistreated you. And so we have cool Keith. This is called Keith Turbo. And it says lost in space. So somebody was up in La La Land is what I'm hearing. They was out in La La Land, not appreciating, you know, this earth angel, not appreciating this divine goddess. She's dressed like a goddess, a queen, an empress, and somebody lacked appreciation. They got dis um, distracted by something that was glittery, something that was shinier. You know, and so this caused disharmony in a connection. And I feel like they're receiving karma and their karma is, you know, you walking away. So we have door to romance. So somebody that is going to absolutely, um, you know, it's like a lover. It's a spiritual union, a spiritual counterpart, a spiritual partner. This is like that yang to your yin. They have the key to your heart. It's only one person in particular that can open up your heart. And this is somebody that's also balanced. These are both sixes. And this person will appreciate you. I feel like they're coming in to unlock your heart, which you have closed up just to protect yourselves. It's like you've locked your heart away because remember, we have break for love. So a lot of you all took a break from love to focus on yourselves, to focus on self-care, to heal yourselves, to restore yourselves, to transmute the negative negativity. You know what I'm saying? You took a break from love. It's 844 on the clock. And so that reduces to 16, 16 and seven. So I do feel like, you know, a lot of you all had to, you know, trust the process. You started to listen to your intuition, started to go within. See that this is the number 19. So this is like, you know, you took a break from love. You did a lot of internal work. And in doing that internal work, you started to get those downloads, the divine intervention, transmuting your body, your spirit strength, your spiritual strength. This is like, you know, that purification card, you know, this is taking that emotional um, withdrawal, that moment to pause, you know, to center yourself, ground yourself, heal thyself so that you can begin to love thyself again. Every ending denotes a new beginning. You're going to emerge someone better. 56, 56 on the clock. So you're going to be better suited for that divine counterpart because you've healed yourself internally at a soul level. And so this has transmuted your energy. You're getting spiritual, you know, like it's like you're getting rejuvenated and revitalized straight from the divine. You're working directly with the divine. Your higher self is also woke. Christ consciousness is activated. And this right here can, you know, denote some sort of marriage ceremony. This is the number 12. So this could be someone, you know, who definitely can see, foresee like marriage, commitment, you know, but this 12, that three is also like you receiving a lot of assistance from your, your spirit team. You know, they've been, you know, assisting you and aiding you in this process. There goes Mama Ma'at again. So good things take time to create. And also, you know, you're receiving and accumulating good karma. This is beautiful, Scorpios. I better go ahead with your bad asses. No, that's right. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. Bottom of the deck again. So we have all tied up. See that? So you was all confused and conflicted. And this is why you had to, you know, take that time to go within to emotionally withdraw. Because you definitely, you know, you were just in a relationship. Somebody was trying to mind fuck you, confuse you. There was a lot of conflict, a lot of competition, a lot of arguments, fights. And this was somebody that kept you stuck, made you feel, you know, um, stagnant, you know, bound. You know, this is like, you know, codependency. This is also, you know, like I said, lack mentality, scarcity mindset. Somebody was using you. You know, it was literally like they were using you, but mind fucking you at the same time, gaslighting you. And you kind of like, you know, you started to adapt or adopt some of the belief system. You started to believe that you gave into whatever it was they were saying. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like you submitted your will to others around you. 
And I feel like it's because you weren't aware, you know, but you're being, you know, whatever you did in this circumstance, as I said, you reap what you sow. So it's like you're coming out of the situation unscathed because you were um, truly someone innocent in the situation. But I feel those who are responsible for playing games, for hurting others, they're going to receive their karma and whatever they made you feel is what they now feel. See this? You got 44. Your angels are protecting you. This says um, woman holding a heart. So this is absolutely, you know, you have angels, you know, maybe you have a mother, a grandmother, an aunt. They were helping you to transmute that pain, that hurt, that confusion, that agony, that fear mindset into, you know, owning your power and loving yourself. You see how she's turning her body as if to protect this heart. And that's what I feel like you all had to do. You know, you had to take a break from love. And in taking that break from love, I feel like you realized that love wasn't good for you. You know, that love that you thought you had with that person wasn't really love. You know, it was more of an, an attachment. It was more of a spiritual tie, a soul tie. It was more of a bond. It was more of, you know, something that was restricting you. And I feel like a lot of you could have been seeing like 444, a lot of angel numbers. And you started to pay attention to those downloads. And I feel like that's what led to you like, you know, cleaning, clearing and cleansing yourselves, purging the negativity. You know, you started to listen to your intuition more and you started to pay attention, you know, to your own needs, wants and desires. So you started to protect your heart more, you started to set those boundaries. You started to heal thyself. This 44 reduces to eight. Eight is healing thyself. In traditional tarot, you have, you know, that naked woman and she's in the body of water. Similar to this. So it's like you started to realize that you had to heal that self in order to love that self, in order to love that self, you had to know that self. And now you know that self and now you know what you need to purge, what you need to release, how to recharge. And it's because this is what your soul's mission and purpose is. You've, you know, like I said, you had to be tested. You had to be tried. You know what I'm saying? And you're emerging wiser. You're emerging more sound. And it's because you had spiritual guidance. You know what I'm saying? You had spiritual guidance. You had spiritual um, protection. So somebody was trying to, you know, drive you crazy because we have Cypress Hill. This is called insane in the membrane. So somebody was really crazy, really selfish. And you do, you had to protect yourself from that person. Ultimately, you know, you had to set boundaries with that person. So why is spiritual career purification here for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. See that? This is that person. You had to like protect yourself from someone. This could have been someone you had a really happy home with. Because remember, you had domestic harmony in the beginning. So this number four, it's like it was once a happy place. This could be the mother or father of your child. This is someone you had a lot of, you know, happy um, times with, you know, but you had to purge that, you know, you had to purge it because it turned into toxicity. It turned into very one sided. They're very distant. You see how the rainbow is on her side, but on his side is like this light. So it's almost like you had to see this, this masculine or see this feminine, regardless, interchange the roles for who they truly were. And maybe there was something, maybe they were suffering from some sort of mental conflict. Maybe they were suffering from two minds. So they could have been, you know, you could have discovered that maybe somebody was really, um, you know, dealing with other people, other partners. This four definitely speaks to stability, but this person wasn't um, fully focused on this connection solely. I feel like they were imbalanced. They were insecure. Maybe you had to see them for who they truly were. But I feel like something was happening in this person's subconscious. And I feel like, you know, there was a need to like purge um, this connection as a whole because it started to um, disrupt your peace, your happiness, your stability. You didn't feel secure in this relationship anymore. So you had to release it. This is about it's a time for cleaning and clearing. That's what you had to do. No matter how much you love this person, no matter how many seeds, plants, you know, how, how much you were trying to build with this person. You can't build with someone who has two minds, who's somewhere else. Maybe somebody was suffering from some sort of mental illness. You know, maybe this is somebody who suffered from depression or somebody who suffered from personality disorder or maybe narcissism. But this is something that, you know, affected some sort of happy family dynamic here. And so next we have patience. And this is clarifying patience. So this is double confirmation. So somebody was really, um, you were being patient. I feel like that's why you're being rewarded with blessings because the divine has noticed how, you know, how integral 
you know, how disciplined you were in this process, even though you were done dirty, even though you had people who were being malicious and hateful and vindictive and being bitchy towards you. It's like you were very patient, but this also speaks to patience is a form of action. Good things take time to create and trusting divine timing. So with this 16, you knew intuitively to trust the process and to continue working on thyself, building your self-worth, building your self-respect, like just rebuilding yourself because you lacked that because somebody was really working on, you know, having you stuck and confused and conflicted and stressed and depressed. And so we have um, Alicia Keys' girlfriend. So some of you all discovered somebody had a girlfriend on the side. You was the wife and they had a girlfriend on the side. You was the wife and they had a side chick on the side or they had a side dude on the side or they had another girlfriend, fellas. You found out your girlfriend had a girlfriend. But this is like patience. Patience, young grasshopper. Seven and two is nine. So seven and two leads to this completion. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you trusted your intuition. Like I said, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So I feel like, you know, you trusted the process. This was all divine timing. And so this was about you, you know, taking that time to work on yourselves and to surrender to the divine. Some of you all were trying to force a relationship that just wasn't meant to work for you. It just wasn't for you. You outgrew it because you have bigger things to do here. And somebody would only distract you from that and prevent you from, you know, ascending, you know, and, and um, aligning spiritually. So this is about, you know, divine timing, you know, patience. And so we have strategy. See this? So this is about planning, preparing, strategizing. You know, somebody is strategizing how to come towards you. I also feel like a lot of you, um, you know, kind of like assess just your situation. Like you planned some sort of escape or you got out of something unscathed. Or maybe this is what somebody is trying to do to come towards you because we have girlfriend. You know, so somebody, you know, definitely... Um, is strategizing perhaps how to leave that, you know, that relationship, that connection with that girlfriend. With this 21, you know, 21 is um, three. So this is someone seeking to reunite perhaps. But I feel like there is um, some sort of abundance, some sort of infinite supply coming in for you all. And this is like a blessing from the divine. And this is called songs in a minor. So we have um, contracts. See, somebody's ending some sort of um, contract with someone. So somebody could be going through a divorce or just like ending some sort of relationship or connection with someone. They're ending it. You know, somebody's also getting karma. This is called karma dharma. A truth could be coming out also is what I'm hearing. So we're going to get a couple messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have you are a miracle and you deserve the best. And we see here, we're about to clarify the surrender, expect a miracle in carnal copia. So that's why you're getting these blessings because the divine is looking at you as a miracle that deserves the best. You know, I feel like you literally, as I said, destroying, rebuild, just going through that tower moment, that sudden upheaval, being betrayed by everybody, like literally being like um, having your foundation shook, you know, not it's like you went through something unexpectedly. But it's like you bounced back, you rebuilt, you focused on rebuilding yourself, you focused on healing yourself, you focused on getting yourself back. And look what's playing right now. We got Nas, the Genesis, and the Genesis is the very beginning of something. So you, you, this is the end and the beginning. So you was whatever was destroyed is now being rebuilt. You've been focused on, on rebuilding yourself, strengthening yourself, healing yourself. You've learned, you know, many skills and talents. Look at that. I can't make this shit up. This is the world card in my deck. As the world turns, so you've gone through many upheavals, many changes, many challenges. That destroy is like that tower moment. That's that lover. That's that husband. That's that family man that betrayed the sanctity of a marriage or the sanctity of a relationship, stepped out and got their ass as a girlfriend on the side, lied to you, abandoned you, and now they want to return, you know, or maybe not. But this is you, you know, completing a toxic cycle. Going through many experiences, gaining a different perspective, having more profound inner knowledge of self, understanding of life, and now being in spiritual alignment, and you're being rewarded for that. The divine has acknowledged that. Like I said, Mama Ma'ad has everyone's address, so she sees exactly how you handled this situation. 
and it was with tact. I'm an alchemist. That's what the star is. So you transmuted all the pain and hurt, agony, you know, channeled it into something creative. And we got Miles Davis, and this is called um, Kind of Blue. So even though you was kind of blue, you was sad, you was melancholy from this situation, from the breakup, it's like you still transmuted that pain. You still channeled it into something creative, tapped into your power, tapped into your, your spiritual gifts and talents, discovered what your purpose is, discovered that you were healing from his light workers. So let's get this message, beloved Scorpios, and we're going to wrap it up. So the bottom of the deck, we have spiritually guided, divinely protected. This is what you are. This is why you have carnocopia. The divine is very pleased with you. And this is your reward for remaining grounded, remaining focused, for surrendering to the divine and not taking vengeance in your own hands, revenge in your own hands. This is what you did. You said, I'm going to focus on me. Because if anybody knows, trust and believe, a Scorpio can, it's like, you do us dirty, we can do you worse. But it's like, I feel like y'all didn't stoop to that level. You stayed focused and that's why you're being rewarded. I feel like y'all could have blew somebody's spot up like y'all had all the receipts y'all had all the deeds but you chose to take the higher road and that's why you have miracles and blessings coming in that's why the divine is saying you're going to have infinite supply a miracle and carnocopia it's like everything y'all was praying for and asking for is coming in including true love so that's why they like look you went through like a lot of tests you was being tested by the divine to see if you would take this revenge because maybe that's something y'all would have did when you was like, like I said, when y'all was like in your shadow side back in the day, you know, when people didn't have the luxury of meeting you when you was like, you know what I'm saying? When you was raw, <laughs> it's like they met you when you was, when you was ascending and they lucky because that person they would have met back in the days would have, would have, it would have been like Wu-Tang style off with your head, but it's like, you've ascended now. That's why the divine is like, oh, you got blessings coming in because you were being spiritually guided and you listened. You listened to the messages. You was receiving those downloads. You was receiving divine intervention and you were sensitive to information. Trust what you feel intuitively. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody could be coming in. Look, it sounds good, but somebody could be, you could sense somebody could be mind fucking you or trying to gaslight you again or have you trapped in some sort of illusion. And, you know, it could be somebody that is now going through some sort of karma and they want to return back. They want to come back because now they going through what they put you through. But this is somebody you already completed a cycle with. So that's why the divine is like, it sounds good. But and this is when you have to go within. You got to take that and internalize it to see how you really feel. So divine spirit, why is completion, fairness all tied up here for Scorpios? Divine spirit, love and light. Why is completion all tied up in fairness here for our beloved Scorpios? And they have a message of love and of light, divine spirit. Thank you so much. That flew out. And we got a bonus message here because it's turned the wrong way. And so look at that. That's your bonus message. This is your bonus message. You saw it was turned the wrong way. All of the cards are turned forward, right? This was the, this is your bonus message. So I'm putting this with the expected miracle in carnocopia because this is this double confirmation. This is your karma. So you have success. You have windfalls of money. This is men. This is like a job offer. This is like some sort of manifestation of your dreams. This is a wish fulfillment. This is an answered prayer, a blessing. I'm hearing more money, more money, more money. And see this play a player from Himalayas. I can't make this shit up. Somebody's receiving karma. You know, this is what they did. Mind fucking you in and out playing games, boyish games, childish games, girlish games, and they're getting karma. And you remain, you know, you remain very um, grounded. You know, they had you up in your head. They was gaslighted, but you completed that cycle. So it's like I said, you was being tried and tested and you passed the test because your heart weighed lighter than the feather. And and this is a beautiful end energy because it's like it just shows what, what you put out there you're going to get back so maybe that player that played you for somebody else got played by somebody that they tried to play you for because remember we had girlfriend playing by alicia keys so and now they're going through some sort of like you know they're strategizing how to get out of that fucking crazy relationship because remember we had she's a bitch so somebody's realizing that whoever they done left you for 
or whatever they left you for. They is a bitch. You know, they're an asshole. They're not who they thought they were. Now they got them up in some shit. Music is my sanctuary. So many of you, like I said, could be musicians. That could be what your spiritual career will be in. Maybe you will make conscious music. Maybe you make meditation music. Maybe you're uh, um, sound therapists. Maybe you play instruments. Maybe you just love music and it puts you in a place of calm, at ease. Maybe some of you all are clear audience, such as myself. Maybe some of you all with this song, Kind of Blue. Maybe this is what you're feeling. And you need to like, you know, be open to receive because something beautiful is, is really happening for y'all. So why is um, spiritual career purification and happy, end, uh, happy family here? It says, I hide what I feel out of fear. Truth is, I love you. So someone definitely loves you and they were hiding their feelings because of fear, maybe because of some faulty belief system, maybe because of their childhood traumas, past life traumas. Somebody had to release some sort of belief system ideology when it came to love. Maybe they had a faulty um, belief system of love. Maybe they were afraid to be vulnerable in love. So somebody would just, you know, like I said, because this, this glow of light is over the masculine's head and so i feel like the feminine was very happy in the connection and willing all in all you know just all available but this masculine was in two minds you know it's, he was very happy but then it's almost like he got a little confused even if this is a masculine energy somebody in the relationship you know that was taking on a masculine energy um was was kind of conflicted mentally you know, and, and this is because they're suffering from some sort of, you know, some fogginess, you know, and with kind of blue, someone's sad, someone's very melancholy, someone does not know how to emote or express themselves or communicate their feelings. And I feel like maybe some of you um, who are very psychic, very intuitive, very clairvoyant, you picked up on that. And that's probably why you showed compassion, why you didn't judge this person, because you knew hurt people hurt people. You also knew that people know not what they do. You know, and so this person could be just a product of their own environment. Maybe they didn't have a happy family coming up. You know, maybe they had the complete opposite. And this is kind of like what made them into who they were. You know, that's what created the monster, so to speak. So mine on my money, money on my mind. A lot of y'all focused on your coins and trying to forget about, you know, love, you know, with this, you know, patience. That's what you started to focus on. You started to focus on your stability, your security, a business, a skill set, a talent. You were very patient with, you know, love. You know, like I said, you know, break for love. You took a break from love and you started to focus on, you know, rebuilding, rebranding, you know, Re, re um constructing if you will you know because we saw that rebuild we saw destroy and rebuild so you had to rebuild you know even your own stability you know you had to get your coins back because in the very beginning of the reading we have financial discipline so you couldn't have been in a relationship with somebody who was just you know they was just not um they didn't know how to manage the money they would just take money so because they had a whole girlfriend on the side so they was going out and, and, and taking them on dates and you know spending money that was supposed to be for the family and so now you are rebuilding everything that was destroyed within that relationship. So why is patient, true love, and patience here? See that? Lying ass, the truth ain't in you. So you discovered there was someone lying. And in this process, you had to, you had to focus on yourself. And that's what you did. You focused on loving you. You focused on focusing, um, you know, that attention, not on that person, but on yourself. And you were being patient. You were telling the universe, like, please bring me true love. Please, please bring me someone that will speak my love language, someone that will appreciate me, someone that will see my value, see my worth. That's what you were asking the ancestors to bring you. And it, it took and required patience. You know, you was dealing with somebody who was deceptive, who was a gaslighter, because as I said, I felt like this person was in two minds, two places, two relationships because they had a girlfriend. And we have a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. Didn't I just say that you didn't focus on the problem? You focused more on taking care of you. So this person, you know, where your attention goes, energy flows. In the beginning, you could have given them a lot of attention, which is why they had you trapped here, you know, because they was lying, telling you a bunch of shit, gaslighting you know, giving you mixed signals, breadcrumbing you along. That person's getting karma now. 
And this is all about fairness. What you put out in the universe, you get back. That's karmic law. That's universal law. But now, because you were wise enough to instead focus on the self, because remember, this is the number two, the, the sacral chakra, and that's orange. So this is about being strong, taking your power back, and also focusing on your skills and talents and gifts and not focusing on somebody who is doing this. If you give all your attention to a liar, they ain't up, when are they going to tell you the truth? You're going to be sitting there getting gaslighted and mind fucked forever, ever. So it's like you stop focusing on that shit because you could not do crazy. And you focused on you. And so when you started to focus on you, you started to see improvements. And look what we have here, love language. So if somebody wasn't speaking your love language, but somebody that's coming in is going to be very, very active in showing you. They ain't going to tell you they love you. They ain't going to say things with words. They're going to show you with their actions actions because the word that's really stepping out is activity so this person is going to be very proactive in showing you how they care they're being very strategic very strategic on how they come in very strategic on their approach and we have um hollow notes she's gone so this past person that was sitting here playing games with your heart this could be that ex that husband you know what I'm saying? This could be that person because remember, you have contract. So a lot of y'all are walking away from the marriage. A lot of y'all are walking away from the marriage and towards a divine counterpart. That person is now saying, damn, she's gone. My person is gone. And it's because they had a whole girlfriend on the side because remember, girlfriend was playing. And now you got love language. You got strategy, infinite supply, and then physical activity. So somebody is definitely going to be very proactive and they're going to be very, very, um, very instrumental in showing you how they feel. And with Hall and Oates, she's gone. Somebody is going to be really missing you, really regretting their actions, really regretting letting you go because now they realize just how special you are. Now they're going to have to witness you receive some sort of blessings, rewards. You're going to be in the spotlight. You're also going to get a lot of attention because you are a spiritual um, healer, practitioner, and cut the karmic cords lesson already learned. So somebody from your past could be coming in while the divine is also um, pairing you with someone new. And somebody's going to be all hurt because this song is called She's Gone. So beautiful Scorpios, I hope this message resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send you a big fat ashe. Peace.